Okay, John Wick 4. Final John Wick movie, maybe. That's what it looks like. Um, Could pull Fast and Furious. What did you think overall about this movie? It was a John Wick movie. It was a John Wick movie. That's for sure. Hell yeah, And it was. everything that entails. Mm-hmm. And usually after the first movie, the <clears throat> the story takes the back seat usually with the John Wick movies. And in here... Or just it, the long road, long way home to... To the end. Yeah. Literally up a 200 so flight right. of stairs. <clears throat> and then back down again. Um, And then back up again. Right. Usually the story's paper thin and it takes the back seat like we say. Uh, and then it, it's mainly scenery... Uh, cinematography and of course far most is the action Um, one thing I do like that they did bump up this time that always kind of got better with these movies is the underground politics yeah I did like that too and this it kind of got a little bit you know Domini Dantes, like, you know, all the way up, white man, rich, crazy. The Illuminati club. kind of stuff. Yeah, like you're wearing Catholic, you know, black and it really Catholic is that. robes it's, and shit. It's the underground, it's, uh, what is it, black and, market kind of and shit. And you really brought it to the world in this one. It was more diverse. But this more. is like, you get Japan, you start out in the Middle East, you get Japan, then you go to you go to Europe, you go to Jer- you know, Germany. Did you go to Germany? Yeah, you yeah, go you to went Berlin, to Germany. then you go to France. And then back to New York. Well, he didn't go to New York at all in this one. No, he started off in New York with the king or whatever. But I don't think it's going to end here. I don't think this series is going to end here, just like we saw at the very end of the credit scene. Uh, that actor, I don't remember his name, the guy who played Scorpion in, uh, in Mortal Kombat. His daughter, who was a badass, by the way. She was so cool, and she was using her small size against bigger people. And I was like, yeah, I can relate. Um, no, but she was really cool, and then they set up a thing at the very end that she is probably going to you know, the, be the revenge seeker. and Maybe she'll carry on. I don't, I don't know. know if she's a big enough character to take on the brand for, like, her own movie. Unless... Probably not the next one, but that's probably because their next project. It just, it just, for that to be the cutscene, it just makes it seem like if it's good... It, it almost just seems like a cliffhanger for cliffhanger's sake, and they're not going to, like, explain what happened. It's just like, ooh, what happened? Let's start with the cons first. So the cons... <laughs> I want to start with Keanu, since this is Keanu's movie. Uh, I don't know... It's starting to be like the number one thing he's known for, which is, in my opinion, sad. Because he's done a lot more. Well, like, what is this whole, like... Okay. Yes. Yes. BC. These one word, like, drawn out words. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, or... uh Uh-huh. Like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. 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 Not really. Like, I don't you know what it is. Because, like, else? we know Keanu has fire in him. Why is he kind of so dull? Docile. Yeah, I don't know what it I is. I don't think it requires much acting in these movies. Uh, it does. They don't. But it, they have Keanu Reeves. But the first one did. He, another thing about the uh, Keanu Reeves in here is, like, he can't die. That's not really on Keanu Reeves. That's he got John hit by Wick. 17 cars. He got hit so way. many times, fell out of By so- cars. <laughs> He was literally you immortal. You can't keep getting hit by cars, dude. Okay, uh, I get the suit that stops a thousand bullets. Eventually, it's gonna break a it's rib. It's not gonna man. break, yeah. It's Eventually, not gonna stop. it's gonna crack a rib that's gonna puncture a lung. I get it. And but the thing with getting riddled with bullets like is you're stuff. just getting broken and your bone marrow is right. leaking. You're just, just, and, your invincibility, where you can literally do anything, it just. You should it be fighting. Little, you should be fighting. You know, someone in the Marvel universe. Almost. It got a little too much, and some of his fighting is a little repetitive. Like I felt like some of the other the actors. Wrist whip. He likes that wrist whip. Some of the other what? actors had cooler choreography than him. Like he has the guns and shit. Like he rocks the guns. But when it comes to like the nunchucks or something like that, like it's those just, were slower than usual. Right. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. But when they had the swords and Donnie Yen was fucking people up, I was like, yeah, that's fucking badass. Donnie is a badass. Right. He's and super, he did the Ip Man thing. Fast. I love that. Yeah, I love the lightning fast, and that's his brand. He does good with that little uh, uh, sword knife. Doesn't have to be blind. Didn't have to be blind. Yeah, that was another. It thing. added. It added about zero percent to. The he was overall. a daredevil to the overall it's just because he's cool and even his tactics of like I doorbells like everywhere I he did, did it like once that. yeah he did that w- he did it once better. and then he just like kind of shoots up in the air and goes he's over there I'm like I don't know if it's 
get and you're like a you're like the top top badass with John Wick of assassin killers and you're blind and you have a sword. He has a gun too. But he's blind. Yeah, that's what I don't know. Uh, yeah, that is the biggest probably that's the biggest reach. All but. the other killers in the previous movies, nothing compared to this blind guy. Well, it's funny cuz they had that deaf girl, what well, type of blind guy? But I thought I heard that it was Donnie Yen's idea to make him blind, which is funny because in Rogue One he was also blind, pretty much doing the same thing. But at least he, he had, had force, force in there. Um, yeah, that was probably the biggest reach in here, and that's kind of saying a lot with a John Wick movie. And making him the biggest part, like say for the duel at the end, I didn't like how yeah, he was pistols. It, I wish it was blades. I wish it was blades. And, and I, I didn't like was... how Donnie was put up against him because we knew that they weren't. He wasn't a bad guy. And the whole movie, he kind of helped him out here and there. <laughs> For the most part, they were helping each other. And then it's like, oh yeah, we still gotta. Let me help you get to the top of the stairs so we can duel. He did kind of. Do we have any kind of trick? We, I, I know they did kind of have their own little thing. I thought they were missing but on purpose. Not, yeah, but he's bl- again. He's blind. He's firing off. So John, I think, was actually missing on purpose. I was going to say, John, you're the gun guy. Right. You should have <laughs> shot him with your eyes. Cl- you could do it blindfolded. And, and it's what they said to him. What did he say? He said, people who cling to life die. People who look for death live. John is looking for death. No, no, no. He's, he was much. clinging to life because you know, I want to be free. I want to live my life wherever. And they're like, what? what are you going to do afterwards? So he's, he's like, you know, you're right. I, I don't really want to live anymore. And Donnie Yen actually has a daughter that he wants to, you know, see and everything. Yeah. And be with. No, not see. Your <laughs> whole motivation of, yeah, do this or I'll kill your daughter. <laughs> I did love that line, though. He goes, remember your daughter. Fuck off. At that point, me <laughs> so too. I'm like, off. how many times are you going to bring remind him of his daughter to get your motivation enough for you, to, for him to fight for you? And I think my final gripe is Bill Skarsgård's character was like, I wish that the main bad guy was the main badass to equal to John Wick. You don't even have to be like a mega badass, just a badass in your own craft, which you, you completely dropped the ball when they were pulling cards. That's when the writer should have been like, it's going to be in the other guy's favor. Right, John Wick be. is like the mega badass. He's the gun guy. He's got to have something new to challenge him. Right. And he wins the pistols. Right. Come on. And I then think he, it should have been swords because and then he John's nominates, not a sword, dude. He, do, he nominates the blind guy anyways. Well, I guess he is a little You're bit. not even going to nominate your mega henchman, who's apparently like even better than, yeah, yeah. than Donnie is. Well, I and think they made Donnie overpowered in here. Like, he was taking everybody out. Everybody. I, yeah. Yeah, I just wish that the, the, the bad also guy the, was... Also, the mobile assassin guy with the dog kind of completely just... Pointless, other than the dog parts. I love the dog. The dog parts were cool, but again, for some reason, we had this this known (laughs) thing for John Wick is he's got this puppy thing. That's where it came from. He's kind of you know where it started. And ever since the first one, everyone else can have a dog except for John Wick. Yeah, it is weird. Every single one can have these cool little dog moments, other than John Wick. The best part about the first one. Or the ending of the first one is he gets the dog. He gets right. the dog after he watches the video with his trained it and made it a badass. That would have been cool. Why? Yeah. John Wick should have had a dog. And- you should have kept true to your themes, you know? <coughs> right. Instead of just, let me wrist whip this guy another time. Right. Oh, he's back up. Let me shoot him 17 times in the head, reload, and then shoot him one more time just in case. The juggernaut suits. Those are so aggravating to me. And here it wasn't as He's ridiculous. Fire seven clips at him. It wasn't as ridiculous as the last one, but it's still. Yeah, I remember that. Remember actually. the scene where he was shooting the guy re- relentlessly into the the drama. The whatever, drama was supposed to be funny. Yeah, no, I was watching too. I'm like, okay. If you watch that scene, that guy's literally tripping into the drum when he's got nothing else to do. I know. I was like, was he and getting Keanu, shot? And Keanu's actually busy fighting someone, and he's going. Oh, bung. And I'm like, what are you doing? Are you tripping on something? Are you tripping yeah. on all your awesome <laughs> talent of I don't, killing? I don't like the juggernaut suits. When you, when you keep dragging it on, you're making, you're, you're watering down the action and it, it, it you know, it, it, there's no more flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we can move over to pros now. That being said, the, the, some of the coolest action that I have ever seen in a movie was in here and 
just the ones that uh, come to to mind. The Japanese Continental, where the lights go out and they all pull their longbows. It, it, he said, "Meet them with ho- hospitality," and they grab blades and arrows. And that shit. was probably my favorite part. Yeah, and then they all start unloading, and then the drum going. Doo. Dude. Where they all just kind of clashed each other. It wasn't your <clears throat> typical John takes on the world. It was a battle, like a, like a war. Yeah, you know? like a legitimate fucking blade, <clears throat> arrow, gun war. Right. And it was it was very uh, awesome, very inviting. Right. Very. And uh, another fight scene was the one take with the incendiary also rifle. Very good. That was so cool. It was just the visually, upper shot. visually masterful. Oh, amazing. Ex- especially with amazing. the incendiary. Oh, that looks so you cool. Because you were, it was satisfying. It was a very it was satisfying like a la- shot. It was like a laser, but it was like fire. And yeah, it was yeah. it was flipping them. If you look closely, one dude jumped on a table and he hit him from above. And, and when like you're from the bird's eye view of things, it doesn't have to be <clears throat> technically badass. You know, when you're on the ground and you can see, okay, that guy's waiting for his cue. Right. That guy over there barely got hit and he did a, you know, triple front flip. Right. But when you're on the when you're on the bird's view, you can see everything happening at once. It looks it's it's a weird it's a different uh, perspective Angle. of yeah. it, and it works especially with incendiary rounds. It wouldn't have worked with normal rounds. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have. So that I thought was awesome. Another action scene was the roundabout in France where he had both doors taken off his muscle car. And one scene in particular where he, like he said, he was sharking them. He, he was burning out, doing a donut, taking them out one by one. That was so fucking sick. Super creative. Got to drive Amazing. A Mustang, right? Was it a Mustang? I don't know if that was a Mustang. I don't remember. Uh, I thought it was like a GTO Finally got or to something. Bring back some cool driving yeah, kills. Uh, that's another thing. I was like. Why isn't he in a car? Like he's dangerous. He's right, dangerous that's his car. thing. It's, it's one of the first few scenes in the first movie where he's just kind of whipping around. Yeah, he loves the car, and I would have loved it to see it in his original Mustang. Also, the number one reason why the Russian guy came to his house was the, the car. In the first movie was the car. Right. So. Um, German Oswald. The German Oswald Koppelpot. I know your typical gross German, where you're just like oh, he's got the golden dude, teeth and so everything. And I love the the card. I love the the poker game. I love that. That was cool. And then he cheated. You can tell. I was gonna say five, five twos. Five twos. The fuck out of here. You and know, five twos. What was it? John had two aces. I know right? everyone had like perfect fucking hands. Except also, Donnie, Donnie even had a decent hand. Donnie said all nines and a four. How? How? The card doesn't say nine or four on it, does it? With the with the what is that acrylic or whatever? No. The guy's. It's the silly. Daredevil. He can just go. Yeah, it's a nine. No. I'll shoot up in the air and hit um, someone in the corner. And what's his face had a royal flush, and then he yeah. had all twos. Too much. Too many twos. Um, and then that whole fight was awesome because he was running away. He was goofy as well he's as like scary that, There's looking. no way that fat ass is going to fight. Doing... And then out of nowhere, he starts like doing roundhouse spinning thing. roundhouse <laughs> kicks and like slams and shit. And he kind of kicked John's ass for a second. He did. He, what he the scared me. He scared me. A big old fat guy that can kick. It was like, for that first yeah. kick, I was like, what? I was almost embarrassed for him. And then yeah. the second kick, I was like, that was decent. The teeth and everything was gross. It was so, very good German quality right so the action of course landed in here and i would say it landed way more in this one than it did in the last one the first one is special because it had more story mixed in with the martial arts and it was the first and two and three we we were introduced two i think was a little bit more like one three just got silly not goofy but watered down like i said before in here and the story was i did not like the story and here the story was a little bit it well, it did make sense though it was kind of uh, it is kind of like a video game you gotta go here you gotta get this from this person and then I'll give you this brand and then you'll be able to go to the boss fight I like this Russian adopted tribe yeah I like that I'm trying to remember who she's talking about her father got shot like I'm trying to remember who Poy, is she talking Poy, about Poit or something Poyer. but yeah the the action of course landed in this movie because. It does seem like that's their priority. And you know what? It did pay off in this one. They did some creative new shit in here that I've never seen before in my entire life. So kudos to that. Another thing that these movies are known for is uh, club fights. 
uh, I was gonna say more like scenery, like lighting. They have crazy lighting. That club f- was pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That German sweet. club was fucking awesome. Right. What do you call it? Landmarks. They have a shit ton of landmarks. Well, the That's main another bad thing. guy. The main bad guy's cribs were fucking phenomenal. Right. Yeah. Everything's everything's uh, symmetrical. Besides, like the 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 choreography and the fighting, I think second the, these movies are known for is the cinematography, is the scenery. And the lighting and everything. And at very least, you'll get a pretty picture to look at. And they do do that. Remember that one take with uh, Winston just walking in the museum with the gigantic paintings in the background. And everyone's wearing these luxurious suits and everything's so fancy. So that's another thing that I liked in here was the scenery. The story part of this is a little weird in the beginning where we're in New York... And then we go all the way to the Middle East to kill the Elder. And he's killing the three horsemen. And it's cool because it's like the four horsemen and death. He's death and he's killing them. They were heavily hinting that he was death. Everything you touch dies. He's like a plague. Blah, 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 blah. And then he shoots the Elder and then we go back to Japan. So that was a little choppy. But from there on, I thought it was pretty solid. Not solid. It was okay. He wants to be free again, which is stupid because that's exactly what he did in the third one. Mm -hmm. And then he burnt that bridge immediately. So he wants to be free. Then he he get mixed in with Donnie Yen's character who doesn't want to fight John because he's his friend. Um, And then they're both kind of forced to fight each other. Then you got the villain who's just kind of like a, a loose cannon for the high table. Not a good fighter. And his tactic is burn it all down. You know he was he was born into it because he's got no qualifications. Right, and he's a sissy. He's I know, he he's... wasn't a fighter. I really wish he would have been a bad. Would have been stronger with like an actual console that had their <laughs> their own high table security right fight on their behalf. Yeah, in a duel, which could have been Skarsgård, and he could have been a badass. You could have just made him a badass. Right. Uh, some of the story aspects did return in this one so the dog and his wife the scene where he said uh i want on my tombstone because they're talking about tombstones and he said long live the king and he said i want mine to be loving husband and then we got a little bit of a glimpse of her at the end and then with the dog him and that the seeker is that what he was called or nobody the nobody guy and he was a, the dude who, the head henchman of Pennywise, who no one could fucking kill, was about to shoot the dog and he unloaded on him. Still didn't die, but at least he saved the dog. And there was a moment there where he's like, I'm a dog person. Wish we would have seen that more, but regardless, we did get that scene. And I did appreciate that. Story comes to an end with his death and he does die. And he lets I respect. Donnie Yen to live and be with his uh his his uh daughter daughter. so and then they kill pennywise it's eh, he goes consequences i was like oh man i really wish it was something better than that it was weird i really wish his death would have been better Um, oh johnny or yeah pennywise's death uh yeah uh the frenchman yeah that was really weird but all in all I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed it because at the very least, it was visually amazing. The choreography was uh, entertaining as hell. Some of it. Not all of it. I would say 90% of it was amazing. The camera work was crazy uh, creative in here. And I want to end on Keanu Reeves. So, I don't know what's going on with his acting as John Wick. It is a little weird. But... His respect for stuntmen is, uh, it should be noted because I feel like what we said when we were leaving is, I feel like he respects stuntmen so much that he wants to be them. And I think the reason his knees are so fucked up is he's doing all this shit. So I find that really, uh, admirable. I just, I respect Keanu Reeves for, uh, for taking on this very I've always respected him because he's been doing this for. Well, I think he he reaches the Tom Cruise kind of Jackie Jan level where I'm going to do it myself. I'm just going to do it. And he did. And this choreography is not easy. Especially doing it multiple takes, multiple one takes all the time. 
And then you got to remember, do I do this? Does he come here? Do I do that? Reload and I check. Like, it has to be crazy detailed. And then you got the camera guy doing the same thing. Like it's all I wonder very if all precise. All that is written out on a script, or the script just goes, they fight. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder. It's because you ain't gonna be able to write. But that this shit director, down. this director is known for this because he is a stuntman made a uh, filmmaker. So that is why there's so many crazy choreographed fights in here, is because that's his shit. Yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a good ending for the John Wick series. I. This is my second favorite John Wick movie after the first one. The first one is still my favorite. As a movie movie, not the greatest. It just kind of dragged on. That's kind of how it felt like that yeah. to the whole movie. And I was, you know, I still I kind of got the grasp of the story and everything like that. And I like the politics of the shit. Yeah. I like the worldview of it politics. all. That's definitely a bigger part. Could have been a better. Hell yeah, but almost every movie can. And it's a John Wick series, so yeah. I for me, as far as like school grades, probably C. I'd probably give it a B. Just just because I know the story takes the backseat in these, but the science that goes down with the choreography, the timing, the stress of doing it over and over again, and I I like the martial art part of it. I am a fan of it. Uh, I just I have to give those extra points for respect. Um, but yeah, uh, that was our review for John Wick 4. See you guys in the next one for John Wick 5. <laughs>